Hey everybody, welcome to June in Texas. It's a warm, breezy afternoon, and uh, you know, out here in the country, we got the locusts chirping. No doubt there are snakes crawling, but we are going to introduce you to the Bond Arms <laughs> Snake Slayer. You're looking at a comparison between my standard 1911 style Springfield 45 caliber and the Bond Arms Snake Slayer. Uh, this particular model is the three and a half inch size barrel. Uh, lengthwise, uh, the Snake Slayer 4 is a uh, another model of the Snake Slayer that comes in a four and a quarter inch uh, barrel length. Overall, this is just a compact uh, weapon that's handmade, handcrafted, built like a tank. All right, let's talk a little bit about the gun in specific terms. This is the little latch here that allows you to open up the barrel chamber, the rounds that you choose. This particular Snake Slayer is equipped with the uh, barrel that uh, accommodates the 410 and the 45 long coat. Uh, thing comes in a variety of barrel choices that you can get and we hope to be talking about that in future uh, episodes here as we continue to talk about this remarkable handgun. Uh, it's got a little wrench here, a little Allen wrench fitting and uh, that's all it takes to swap out the barrels to any combination of barrels that you choose. Uh, it's got a, a lot of good safety features. Uh, it's obviously got the safety on the side here. When you push the safety in, the weapon will trigger, but it will not fire. So you have to make sure that your safety is in the fire position, another good little safety uh, feature. Uh, just solid as a rock. I mean, you feel it, and you feel that you're holding something that is built like a tank. This particular Snake Slayer model has the extended grip, beautiful wood grain craftsmanship, allows you to use a three finger grip, and uh, it's just a matter of loading it, and you're ready to go. The Bond Arm Snake Slayer, double barrel protection. But you know, a lot of people want to know, well, how on earth can I figure out which barrel I'm firing from? Well, it automatically switches from one barrel to the other each time you pull the hammer back. But They've come up with a fairly ingenious way that you can determine which barrel that you want to shoot first. Here's how it works. Obviously, you pull the hammer back. There's a little pin inside. This pin is in the forward position right now, which would tell you from just looking that it's going to fire the top barrel. When you release the hammer, fire the weapon, and pull the hammer back again, the little piece of metal jacketing goes down and fires the bottom barrel. So you can literally look at the weapon and you can tell whether you're getting ready to shoot the top or the bottom, or if it doesn't matter to you, you just pull the trigger and you're going. As easy as it is to swap out the barrels to any number of combinations, and again, as we've mentioned, it just takes nothing more than a little Allen wrench. If you prefer, you can remove the same way the trigger guard. And again, nothing more than an Allen wrench is necessary, and to, to your preference, have the trigger guard on or off. Me and my good buddy, we love to go out and target practice, and one thing we wondered more than anything else about the Snake Slayer from Bond Arms was what kind of recoil it has. How does it manage? How does it feel when you actually fire it off? We're going to use as a benchmark my standard 45 caliber Springfield 1911 model. I'm going to compare the recoil between it and the Bond Arm Snake Slayer. Uh, give you a kind of a feel for what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be using the new Federal 410 triple aught buck, which has got four pellets instead of the usual three. And uh, we're going to just do a little target practicing. All right, before we get started, always remember you got to use some ear protection whenever you shoot, whether you use these type of headphones or you get the standard styrofoam ear protectors. And you always want to wear safety glasses, so let's face it, you know, use that old saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure any time you're out on the range. All right, let's put this bad boy through its paces. Again, we're using those new Federal 410 triple lot bucks, slide in very easily, and uh, let's give this thing a run. We're going to start out with a shot from three yards and see how the uh, recoil and the feel of the Snake Slayer is as you fire. Deadly. All right, let's compare. I got a 1911 style Springfield 45 caliber. Let's just see what the uh, overall feel and recoil is with this particular weapon. All right, that's pretty good. Can you zoom in a little bit on this? Compare the pattern of a 45 caliber 
to the 410 triple lot buck shot out of that bond arms snake slayer. Hard to compare. All right, let me just quickly show you how easy it is to pop these shells out that we just shot. Slide them out. We're going to slide in some slugs. Ready to go. All right, just for versatility, let's load up some standard three inch Winchester four shot. Ready to go. All right, let's take a look at it. Now you can see that's from 12 feet and that's a spray. I mean, that is, that is a very effective pattern against this target. All right, now we're gonna stand about six feet from the target. We're gonna use two and a half inch seven and a half shot in the snake slayer just to kind of give a feel for this particular pattern. <laughs> yeah, I think that pretty much does the trick. Folks, sometimes contrary to belief, small is better. Well, I hope you enjoyed this installment. We showed you a little bit of the Snake Slayer, some of its features. We used the 410 triple lot buck and we used some regular standard shot. Pretty effective at the target, as you can see here. In future installments, we'd like to show you some 45 long colts, but frankly, we haven't been able to find the ammo. It's pretty hard to come by these days, but we hope to show you that in future installments. Thanks for watching. As, far as we like to say, in the beginning, God created man, but bond arms made man equal. Happy trails.